Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 4 to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. Now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by, oops, sorry, 4 to the power of x. So then first off, these two cancel out. So I have 1 plus 10 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So for both 10 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x and 25 to the power of x over 4 to the power of x, I can rewrite this as 10 over 4 to the power of x and 25 over 4 to the power of x. Now 10 over 4, this can be simplified to... 5 over 2. And 25 over 4, this can be simplified to 25, this is 5 squared, and 4, this is 2 squared. So I have 5 squared over 2 squared to the power of x. Now remember how I said if I have something in the form a to the power of n over a to, or sorry, over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I have 5 squared over 2 squared. So we can rewrite that as 5 over 2 squared. And then we have to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And for multiplication, the order doesn't matter, right? Meaning, a to the power of m to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So, 5 over 2 to the power of 2 to the power of x we can rewrite that as 5 over 2 to the power of x to the power of 2. So we simply switch the order of 2 and x. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u, the variable u, equal 5 over 2 to the power of x. So now if I substitute in u for 5 over 2 to the power of x, I get 1 plus u is equal to u squared. Now I can subtract u and 1 on both sides. So then these two cancel out. And I would have u squared minus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now I need to plug this in to the quadratic formula, which is, if you didn't already know, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, the coefficient in front of u squared is 1, this is negative 1, and this is negative 1. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 1, and c is equal to negative 1. So now if I plug this in, I get negative, negative 1, plus or minus the square root of b squared is negative 1 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is negative 1. And I'm dividing this by 2 times a, which is 1. Now if we simplify this, 
negative negative one is positive one plus or minus the square root of negative one squared is one minus four times one is four four times negative one is negative four all over two times one is two now it's equal to one plus or minus the square root of one plus four which is five over two so this gives me two solutions i have u is equal to one plus the square root of five over two and i have u is equal to one minus the square root of five over two so remember how we stated that u is equal to five over two to the power of x so if u is equal to five over two to the power of x and i already have two values of u so let's first try one plus square root of five over two and see what we get so i'm going to substitute in 5 over 2 to the power of x for u. So now I get 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now I can take the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 2 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, this is equal to, I can actually move this exponent b to the front. So I'll have b times log a. So log 5 over 2 to the power of x, I can move this exponent to the front. So this will get me to x times log 5 over 2. This is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. So now I, if I divide log 5 over 2 on both sides, <laughs> these two cancel out, and I will be left with x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So log 5 over 2, this is equal to log 5 minus log 2. So now I have log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 minus log 2. And this is equal to approximately, if you plug this into a calculator, x is equal to 0 0.525. Now, for our other value of u, we have u is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And now, if I plug this in, I get u 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 is equal to 5 over 2 to the power of x. However, this actually is rejected. Because 1 minus square root of 5, that is a negative number. And you can't take a power of a positive number and make it negative. So this has no solution, meaning our only solution for x is 0 0.525.